Is there a problem, Brody? No. It's jam. Kick right here. No longer in the red quad track. Track issues on it, so we are in the 9420, or as Doug will like to call it, the 9410. Going out to our furthest east field, uh, black bean stubble. Haven't taken any soybeans or corn out yet, so it's all we got harvested. We uh, soil sampled this field, and we're gonna put a little extra fertilizer on it uh, to try to build that up some based off of the soil sample. So, different rate. Uh, I didn't bring you guys into the cab yesterday when I was spreading the first field because I had to get comfortable so I didn't look like a fool. Try to get you guys in the cab today while I'm spreading, but this Pro Force, same deal, same screen, same uh, brake controller, and there are some new functions and new additions to this Pro Force compared to the tracked one we were running last year. Uh, we'll go over that later, but how to run the machine is the same. That came back fairly quick, uh, but I was trying to set my cal number so I knew I was spreading what I wanted to spread for weight per acre. But, yep, we're all putting on P and K, phosphorus, and potassium in the fall time here. Yeah, not, we don't do any nitrogen sources ourselves in the fall. We do hire out some anhydrous uh, nitrogen to be put down once the soil temp is cool enough to allow for that but uh, yeah I'll fall on spreading P and K let's hope today goes smoother than yesterday all right we're spreading I've got uh, 40 acres done it is very rough in this quad compared to the red quad and a little less horsepower but the way these pro force works same as uh, same as last year it's ISO bus plug-in <coughs> which my rate controller and everything shows up here, so 246 pounds an acre here, slightly more than the other field. And then my spinners are at 650 RPM. We're doing about 170 acres an hour. Kind of tells you all the info you need. It's, it's the same Raven controller that I'd have in like the sprayers, the Hawkeye system, the U-Harvest and the Grain Carts Raven product. Um, so I'm quite used to them. And then it's the master foot switch when I uh, want to shut off on the headlands as I'm turning. It will read my coverage and shut off as I pull into the headlands and leave. But just like the sprayer, when you're swinging the boom over the fence line, you know, it senses you're out of coverage and wants to turn on. So you gotta hit that twice in the, in the turnaround process. But you guys probably don't care about that. Can you see how much it's bouncing in here though? These tractors. The new guy, Chris, is right on me. This guy is fast. I like it. He's running that Halo VRT back there, and I'm going as quick as I can. He's right there. That's a very nice tillage implement, and this is not a very fast tractor, but he's right there. And now he's calling. can't believe this is what we're down to. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. Well, we're gonna seed today. As you can see, we're back to this project. We're going to use the side-by-side. -side. We've got a bunch of bags of grass and flower mix, a whole bunch of them here. This is Dad's big seeder here. We're gonna see if we can't spread we this it? three times. I got this side. Uh, we're gonna, I don't know. We're just gonna spread until we're empty, I guess. Odds are this ain't gonna work out very good at all. We have a problem. <laughs> it's made for a lawnmower, we not a- We have a problem. She ain't deep enough. Are you kidding me? Give me your Nipex. 
There oh, we go. Yeah. Extendo hitch. I don't know if that's going to help us really though. You can tighten it or? Oh, let's leave it loose to see if it even works. Hopefully we can bend. Bendy, bendy. It's so close. Well, this will be an anti-tip hitch. So you got it in there, but now we're just gonna tighten this down and cause binding. All right, I don't care. This is even loose, it's got lock nuts. No, we'll pull it right off, no. Nope, gotta tighten it. No. It's just Duggos. <laughs> oh my. We put two bags in there, so when we hit a bump and this tips over, we lose the whole load. That's good. <laughs> Should have. What if it clogs? What if it clogs? This doesn't look like good flowing material. Look at all the little baby flower seeds in there. So are you driving or me? I think you're the most responsible man here. Oh my God. We're gonna put our cover on so that if it does tip over, we maybe salvage some. Wish us luck, here we go. I can't see the fake unit. <laughs> We're going. Get her. Is it working? No. You're not going fast enough, or I don't know what's going on. It's only spreading like three feet wide. What? It's only spreading as wide as your unit. Isn't it supposed to go farther? But if you go faster, that ain't gonna be good. Try it again, let me look better. Oh, that's working way better. I opened it up more. The big seeds weren't coming through. But it is only spreading as wide as the side by side, so this is going to take a while. It's not quite the pro force. It spreads 100 feet wide. We got a solid 15 feet here, eight, and a, eight feet maybe. It goes way better to ride on it, give it some weight. It's also very sketchy and dangerous. It's really giving her now. I'm the on-off guy, I guess. You're good! And also the rate controller. On the fly rate controller. Do you want to know what the most painful experience you'll ever have is? Riding on this thing. And then when you get going so fast, this thing kicks back like that constantly. Why don't you take off your tailgate and sit in there? We might have to, because it really is hurting me. All right, we, it's time to refill. That's about right. What is this foam? dust bunny thing. What are you running at? All the way open? No, at about five. Hard to know and judge when it's flying around so bad, but you know, we put two thirds of a bag in and I think it's actually, or two thirds of a product we have and it's actually working out quite well. Like I thought this was gonna be a super sloppy way of doing it, but it's actually working out really nice. One more 50 pound bag and then we have just a smidge in the other one. All right, we took the tailgate off so I can sit down. A lot safer and way easier on my body. Spreading. I didn't think we'd ever finish. You wanna know how good of a rate controller I am? We are Yeah, we're pretty good. <laughs> That's it for four acres. It was starting to not feed out because we were running out. I had to sit here and shake it. But- it Wasn't shaking enough? Well, it, in areas it was needing help. Well, that's not bad. That is not bad. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I suppose. 
sprinkle it out. So what we're gonna do now is drag it in, probably hit it two or three times with the drag. We should be good. Get a couple of rains this weekend, get her germinating, and next summer this is gonna be beautiful flowers for all the bees and the birds and the hummingbirds. Time to incorporate. Let's hope she survives. Planting, dragging, all of the above. <laughs> sort of bumpy, but it seems to not plug up as bad if you go faster, you go slow, it bunches worse. It'll be fun. It'll be good. Grass grows really easily. All right, I've went over everything twice, if not three times, actually. It's time to uh, get out of here. I did my best. I did my best. Okay, when I pull ahead, this one on the right, that bar that needs, it'll fold up. It needs help, it's so rusty. This bar? Yes, that needs to stand straight up and down. So when I pull ahead, you lift up on that. Kiffer! Kiffer! It's really not right. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. She hasn't been maintained in 30 years, so what do you expect? Well, until another 20 years, we'll see you again, Mr. Drag. The big bad T is out. Hello, Brody. Okay, new project. All right, Dad's been ditch scrapering, so the spoils are really uneven. The Halo VRT is doing tillage out east. We're gonna take this down there. Before Eric gets there, try and knock it down so that it's smoother for him because that scraper can leave some pretty nasty ridges and piles, so. Brody's gonna take it down there. I think Dad will probably do the work, but we're gonna be combining at one o'clock, I guess, so. Countdown's on. All right, T minus a half hour, kickoff is on. I think we've got it ready. <laughs> so am I qualified for this? Forget how big this thing is. It's almost a little bit ridiculous, but I love it. All right, I used the U-Harvest Pro app to get all of my fields onto this new cart from the other cart. I actually had to hand enter them into the app for whatever reason. Um, I guess they're working on that, but then I just Bluetooth to this. Whoop, they're all in there. So, yes, I had to enter them in my phone, but that was way faster than doing it through the screen. Now all the fields are the same. When we get into corn, everything should talk together and work out just perfect. That thing's big. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, first card hookup of the year with a factory hitch. Woo! So he can see right here. What's going on? Oh, diapers, too far. Right bad. Maybe he can't see what's going on. Are you ready for your big train? I think so, I think so. All right, here we go, soybeans 23. Let's go get them. Man, that's long, I love it. So this is happening. We got the train going again. I don't know if you can see that I'm nervous, but it just takes some getting used to. We're going out, harvesting some soybeans. I hope it follows. New tractor to the farm, new cart, same head. Shouldn't have to worry about anything here. Is it back there? I've got a camera. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got a camera, so at least I know if it comes unhooked, because it won't be there no more. Not much I can do at that point. But. 
There we go. It's weird being the guy that isn't punching in first. Come on, Brody. Let's go. We forgot to switch our rotors to high speeds. Black turtle beans are harvested like corn and low speed on the rotor. Soybeans, we gotta go to high speed, so we're high gear. So we're switching that, or he's switching that right now. So this field, actually, the uh, crop adjuster and Randy were out here this morning. It actually got totaled out in hail damage, actually, or maxed the policy out. Here's what it looks like on the ground. You can see, look at all the pods are empty here. This one here gets a little more sun on it, he's gonna burst, so. The whole field ain't completely ready, but we're gonna get them before any more come popping out. But it is just, they're everywhere. Everywhere. Is there a problem, Brody? No. Jam. Black bean mud. What do you want me to do? You want me to hold up on that? Sure. Oh, that's heavy. Kick right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, that explains why I wasn't turning. Look at the beans on the ground that popped open. Oh my wasteful lord. Oh wow. Well, he's going to have her opened up here shortly. Enough room that hair can get in with my head behind him and I can join the, the sad, sad party. Really sad that we were literally uh, a week from harvest. A little hailstorm came through and just pounded out all the beans that were ready. And we were waiting for the bad spot, or like the greener spots to get ready, and all the good spots are now on the ground, which is a lot of the field. Well, and here we go. It's starting. <laughs> right now we are 20 bushel beans. It looked like they should be over that, but you know, when they're all shelled out on the ground, what are you gonna do? So, I don't know, we're gonna be taking these to town to calibrate the cart, and also just for yield for the crop insurance adjuster they wanted to town, so. Going to town! We're doing it! We're farming! She's dusty. The beans are hailed out, but there's some out here, and I did not run into them yet. Okay, now this is where they got all this stuff I gotta watch. Scale's going up, it seems to be working. And then uh, I'm trying to dump somewhat in the center right now. You watch that hitch weight. So I'm getting a little tail heavy. We'll back her up. Not that you gotta worry about 3% of tail weight. Usually around that 70% or 70% tongue weight, 50% your you just don't need to put that much weight on the back or the front, so try to keep the weight centered. But I'm into 580 here. I like it. I, I haven't even gotten the Bluetooth going yet. She's coming back. Both my jobs I started today, the Pro Force and the grain cart, and I, I think I remember how to do them. I haven't unloaded yet, so we're gonna haul uh, some beans to town here. A couple loads or, or three loads are gonna go to town so that we can calibrate the grain cart, calibrate the scale on it. I'm pretty disappointed I didn't get the first unload on the grain cart. We can get the first spill if you want. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try to avoid that this season. The football field just pulled up next to me, I think. We're gonna have a little bit of black turtle beans come out at first. There's a little mixture. Cleaning. Dirty. All right, we're back in the routine. He even knows what he's doing, I think. Yeah, 
that's a lot nicer when the dust ain't with us. So the way I do this is I set my auto track to 12 inch spacings. That way I pull up to them and I can uh, hit resume auto track and there's a line close enough that I don't have to worry about steering because we're cutting at an angle. So I can just give all my attention to watching him unload, filling the cart the way I want. Don't have to worry about steering. Might as well use technology if you got it and if it works. All right, well, we've been mowing down and stuff, and uh, a lot of green leaves on them, but it's 10 to 11% moisture, so we're just sending it. <laughs> Don't worry about the, the little bit of green stems. But other than that, we got the first field done. I don't know if we have really much more to do today. We may go to a little 20 acre field if, it, if there's some ready, but it's been going pretty good. It's kind of nice raising black beans because then the combine operators are trained in, combines are working and set, so when you're ready to hit it hard, everyone's trained and comfortable as far as combine operators know their machine. That's kind of nice. I'm liking that a lot, but look at them green buggers. Yeah, I've combined a lot of beans and these to me visually look like 50 plus 50 55 bushel soybeans just from what I've seen throughout the field we're averaging around uh, not quite 40 that's how many are busted out on the ground such a such a sad sad thing the white combine was hungry I guess well we've done about 80 acres on this quarter we're just shutting down. We don't have a ton of beans this year. Soybeans due to black beans and heavier on corn acres. And this field's got green spots, so there's really no rush to be going late. There, we need to bring that thing home and put some tile flags on it. We're gonna leave the combines because we'll be back tomorrow. But, so far, uh, what'd we do? Just about 200 acres, I think, today. So, not bad for starting late. And getting stuff set. Look at Brody's tent. You can't even Can see it. <laughs> no, no I cannot. Looks I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like a mile east of that field that got really bad hail on. This field is like what, 15 bushel better per acre? Yes. About. And uh, it also had a little bit of hail damage, but not nearly as bad as that one. So, unfortunate, or I'm very happy about that. All right, bullet time. Did you have a good day? I had a good day, how about you, Brody? Okay. It was okay. All right, we made it home, and uh, I think we're gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.